Hello, sports cards enthusiasts. It's Chris with Maker Sports Cards here. Uh, I was able to find a few products at retail, and one of those happened to be a 2021 Don Russ Baseball Blaster. Uh, so I wanted to share that with you while I'm opening it. You can see here we should have 11 hollow purple and five rapture parallels. Rapture are the ones that are the real sparkly finish. Um, you know, I'll try to point them out as we go through here, but uh, should be 88 cards total. So uh, 11 packs with uh, eight cards per pack, I believe is the, yep, here we go. Eight cards per pack uh, and 11 packs per box. So without further ado, uh, let's get into this. You can see there's some turn back the clock cards. This is just another view for the sideways. Here's all of the products that are included. It's not the odds. Um, I don't believe Panini prints the odds on theirs. But uh, without further ado, let's dig into this and see what maybe we can find from it. Um, love to pull like one of those Unleashed cards or a Whammy card. Uh, if you haven't seen those... Um, I was looking at the checklist a little while ago, and those are some pretty cool looking cards. So now you can see all of our packs. We'll take them out and count them and make sure we got what we're uh, anticipating to get. Ten and eleven. So let's just get these separated out into some stacks here. And we'll start with pack number one and get us underway. Uh, I do like Don Russ. Um, Diamond Kings, you can see, is coming up on the back of this first pack that we're opening. And uh, I can see already it's an Acuna. So that's a nice looking card, I'm sure. Uh, we'll look at it in a minute. There are some interesting little parallels and variations that are some variations, I guess I should say, that I'll try to point out as we go through. Hopefully, we can pull an autograph or a mem memorabilia card. I opened one of these the other day and pulled a Kibit Ruiz memorabilia card. So that was pretty interesting. Um, but we'll start out with a John Memes. John Means, excuse me, uh, JT Realmuto, uh, Kwang Hyung Kim, who I believe had a really good outing uh, with the Cardinals the other day. Um, here's a Aaron Judge. In 2020, Don Russ, I actually pulled the Aaron Judge photo card and or photo variation and the base card. So uh, maybe we'll have some luck with that again. Here's an Andy Pettit uh, 87 retro card. Here's our first purple hollow parallel parallel of a Dansby Swanson. And then here's a Gigante uh, from Houston. So it's Jose Altuve, but uh, that's his nickname. So this is one of those variation cards you can see. Uh, they've changed the, the, his name there. Here's the Acuna Diamond King. We'll just take a quick look at this. Uh, I don't believe this year that there's really anything on the back. I couldn't find anything that said that there was anything um, that showed that these were different cards in case you didn't quite notice it. The photo variations uh, are going to be the hardest ones to pick out because unless we have the... Um, the base card to, to compare it to, it's going to be difficult to tell, I think. Uh, last year, I know with their little Don Russ symbol here, they actually changed the, um, the symbol uh, so that it was like more of an old school Don Russ style. And um, then they used that for uh, to be able to show us that we were getting the, the variation of the card. But anyway, we'll go on with pack two here. And the first card in this is going to be a Donovan Solano. There's a Corbin Burns who um, uh, had a, a really good game the other day, and some of his cards are going on, are, are going crazy right now. It looks like we have a, a Rapture parallel coming up in this pack. Here's a Max Scherzer, another great pitcher. Here's our Vladimir Guerrero 87 retro card, so that would be senior there. And looks like our Rapture parallel in here is going to be Xander Bogart's Dominator's card, so you can really see the sparkle that's in that, uh, the finish that's on that card. Uh, right behind it is going to be our parallel, or our Purple Hollow, um, but here's the back of that Dominator's card. Our Purple Hollow is going to be of Wade Bog, so 87 Retro Purple Hollow. Uh, our first rookie, rated rookie, is going to be Brady Singer with Kansas City. And then uh, Nolan Arenado, which I believe this is the variation. I think him throwing is the variation uh, card because I know he does have a variation. So we'll keep that out and see what we might be able to find in there um, or with regards to that. And I'll go ahead and just put these sort of out, put some of these base cards over here and we'll get ripping with our next pack. All right, so this is gonna be our third pack out of 11. 
And we're going to start with the U Darvish, now of the San Diego Padres. Very unfortunate for me as a Cubs fan to see him go, but uh, looks like he's uh, continuing on with uh, his great pitching out in San Diego. So more power to him. There's a Rafael Devers. There's a Giancarlo Stanton. There's a Max Fried. And 87 retro of Jason Giambi. And we've got an upside down card here. So let's see what this is going to be. A rated rookie of Dalton Varsho. And it's a purple hollow. So there you go. I was hoping it was going to be an autograph, but it's a purple hollow Dalton Varsho rated rookie. Uh, so super excited about that. That's a nice looking card right there. Um, it does have some print down here. Uh, I can't quite make it all out. Something hits is what it says. But uh, if anybody knows what that's supposed to say, I'll try to find um, a little bit better image of that maybe and see what it's supposed to be. Uh, here is a parallel or a variation of the 87 of Ricky Henderson. It's the 1,406 career steals cards. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to pull that card. That's a nice little variation right there of Ricky Henderson. And then here's a Joey Gallo base Diamond Kings cards. I believe it's the first... 30 or 32 cards in the set are the Diamond Kings, um, followed by the, the Rated Rookies should be, um, I believe it's 30, it's either 30 or 33, up to, I think, 60-something. Um, I'll try to post a link uh, with this when I post it to the, uh, to the um, checklist that I was looking at when I was uh, trying to figure out what all might be in this so that, uh, so you'll have easy access to it as well. All right, here's a Brandon Lau. Uh, it looks like we're gonna have another um, Rapture variation, or Rapture parallel, I should say, excuse me, coming up. Um, here's a Cattell Marte. It's a Shohei Otane. It's also having a great year. It's a Frank Thomas, 87. And it looks like this is gonna be a trending of Luis Robert, so very nice. I, uh, I like that card as well. Let's see the, the back of it really quick. There we go. And our purple hollow in this is going to be Luis Castillo. And here's a rated rookie of Joe Adele. So uh, super excited to pull that. That's a great card. Uh, nice find. I would have loved for that to be that purple hollow. But I'll definitely take the base of Joe Adele as well. And then our final, final card in this is going to be the uh, Pico de Gallo um, name parallel uh, for Joey Gallo. So... Uh, there we go with that. I think we just had a Joey Gallo card in one of the last packs. Uh, maybe I'll dig through and see if we can find that at the end and see if we can uh, show both those off. So, all right, here we go. I believe this is going to be pack five. We're going to start out this pack with a Fernando Tatis Jr. base card. Uh, not a variation, but still always love to pull Tatis. Um... The guy's having an amazing year again, so uh, happy for him in that. Here's a Wilmer Flores. Here's a Michael Conforto, Tim Anderson, uh, Ichiro, 87 Retro. And then our Purple Hollow in this is going to be a Nick Castellanos. And then we've got our Diamond King of Nolan Arenado. Uh, I really love the Diamond Kings card back in the day when I was a kid collecting um, the Diamond Kings cards out of the old Don Russ packs were some of my favorites, so uh, I love still pulling those. And then here's a Bobby Dalback, who is also having a a little great campaign right now for um, for Boston. So uh, two nice rated rookies in a row with Joe Adele and Bobby Dalback. We'll add these to our pile here. I think I missed pulling out a couple of these. Let me do this really quick because I. Just trying to keep all of these separate uh, just because it makes it easier for me at the end. So there we go. All right, let's get on with, I believe it's pack number six. Thought I saw a thick card in there for a minute, but uh, I don't believe it is. No, nope, no thick cards. Not yet anyway. All right, we're going to start this pack out with a Jeff McNeil. Here's a Zach Wheeler. There's a Shane Bieber card. Uh, Paul Canerco, 87 Retro. And it looks like we have an 87 Retro. Uh, I believe this is the Independence Day variation of that card. So it's a Steve Garvey 
Uh, you can see the stars all around the border. Um, so that's a nice little find there. And then here's a purple haul of Jake DeGrom, Jacob DeGrom, uh, who is having an amazing season again. Uh, throwing some hard heat, playing some, or throwing some great games. So uh, excited to pull that for sure. And then here's our Starling Marte Diamond Kings and the rated rookie of Kiebert Ruiz. So I uh, pulled his, uh, excuse me, uh, memorabilia card um, the other day out of a blaster. Uh, and now I've got his base rated rookie. So that's a nice find as well. All right, here's an Alex Verdugo with Boston. Javier Baez base card. Here's a Chris Paddock. Uh, here's the Babe Ruth 87 parallel. And then right behind that, our Rapture is going to be a Babe Ruth Elite Series. So uh, very nice. I love it anytime I can find a Babe Ruth card. Um, you know, love to find some original Babe Ruth cards, but don't see that happening in my financial future. <laughs> but uh, it's always nice to pull something like this, and especially when it's a Rapture Parallel. Uh, and then you can see our Purple Hollow for this pack is going to be Rafael Palmero. And here is a... Mike Yastrzemski variation card. You can see his name is, is uh, the variation to just down to Yaz. Uh, and Anthony Santander is going to be our last Diamond King. So there's the back of, of that um, Mike Yastrzemski card as well. All right, let's get on with the next pack. Hope you're enjoying this video. Uh, if you are, please feel free to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to be notified when I get content, hit that little bell icon and it'll give you a notification anytime that I post something new. Uh, I try to do that, uh, not on a real regular basis, but I do try to keep up with, with it. And uh, if I get the chance to find something like this, like I did some retail product um, that I'm going to rip open, I'll definitely try to share that with you. But uh, here we go with our next pack, Kyle Hendricks. Here's a Chris Bassett card. Joey Votto. I have a nephew who loves Joey Votto, so that's going to go right into the pile for him. Here's Denison Lament, who just came off of the IR. Uh, I believe he started yesterday, but I haven't looked at the stats to see stat line to see how he did. Uh, here's an 87 of Troy Gloss, and here's an upside down card. Uh, it's a Diamond Kings of Cody Bellinger. I'm going to assume this is a Purple Hollow because we haven't hit one of those yet in here, and it is. There we go, Purple Hollow Diamond Kings Cody Bellinger. And then we're going to have a Dylan Carlson rated rookie. So that's another nice rookie. This box has had a lot of nice uh, rated rookie cards in it. Dylan Carlson uh, having a great season also for St. Louis. And then here's a Christian Yelich. And that should just be the base Christian Yelich card. All right, looks like we're down to our final three packs. We'll do a quick just little recap, and then we'll be on our way. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to get that off the screen there. All right, here we go. DJ LeMayhew is uh, going to be our first card in this pack, followed by Whit Merrifield. And here's another Christian Yelich, so back-to-back. -back, uh, we pulled two Christian Yelich base cards. Uh, here's the George Brett 87 parallel. All right, this is what I was hoping for. An unleashed rapture parallel uh, of Juan Soto. So let's take, let me set this down. We're going to take a quick look at this. Um, here, let's just do this. We'll use DJ LeMayhew to kind of cover us up there a little bit. Uh, super nice card. I love these cards. These are so great. And the way they do that sparkle in the rapture um, parallel is very nice. Uh, this looks like a really nice, clean, crisp card. Uh, it looks like maybe it should be centered fairly well. It's a little hard to tell since part of the image goes off the screen anyway. Um, we'll take a quick look at the back, but these Unleashed cards are very nice. Uh, super cool. Juan Soto, definitely a great player to pull uh, in anything like, like that. Um, so I'm super happy about that card. That's going to be probably sleeved up right away as soon as I get done with this video here. Um, take that off of there here's a Tyler glass now which I saw it had already slipped down looks like it's got a little spot right there in the in the print if you can see it yeah it definitely shows up on camera but that's a that's our purple hollow here is a 
Uh, name variation for Sammy Sosa, the 534 slugging percentage. So as a Cubs fan, happy to see that card come up. 87 parallel again. And then our Diamond Kings card uh, is Cattell Marte. And it looks odd because it looks like it's got a little print defect right, right about there, if you can see it. Um, let me just get one of these other Diamond King cards up. You can see right there little print defect it looks like because the other the other ones don't have it i'm looking at the ones that are also laying down on the on the uh on the mat and they don't have that so interesting little defect there thankfully that was on that base diamond kings card and not that unleashed juan soto card for sure um would have loved to have pulled like the uh one of the low numbered parallels in that unleashed card but you know what i'll definitely take a rapture parallel it's not the base um so it's uh still definitely a little bit shorter print i would assume than what the the base um parallel card is so here we go with a uh, manny machado this is our next to last pack and followed by a trent grisham so this must be a uh, padres pack so far uh, here's a brandon belt here's vladimir guerrero jr having a great season so far uh, here's Ryan Sandberg, 87 Retro Parallel. Great great to see another Cub come up in there. Our Purple Hollow is going to be Yadier Molina. And then a Rated Rookie of Nick Madrigal. So another nice Rated Rookie. Uh, this this Blaster has been really nice with the... Uh, really great to us with, with some good Rated Rookie cards. And then our last card in this pack is going to be a Starling Marte. Alright, so let's get on to our last pack. Doesn't feel like it's going to have any um, uh, memorabilia cards in it. So let's hope for an auto maybe to, to kind of close things out. I'm not convinced we'll get it, but uh, let's hope. It'd be great to see. All right, so our last pack. Looks like it's going to have a Rapture Parallel in it. Uh, it starts out with a Cody Bellinger. So a little Cody Bombs action there. Followed by a Noah Syndergaard. And a German Marquez card, the 87 Retro Royal Hershiser, and a Highlights 87 Retro Rapture card of Lucas Giolito, who threw a no-hitter last year. Um, his cards went crazy as soon as that happened and then cooled right back down. Here is a Upside Down card. Uh, did we call an auto? Let's see. Nope, I think we're going to have a Jordan Alvarez H-Town Parallel or variation, excuse me, um, hollow purple parallel. So a nice little card to pull there for sure. That's got a lot of things going on in it. It's the purple hollow parallel as well as the variation of the uh, team name with, with Houston being called H-Town. Uh, you can see the back of that real quick. And then our last two cards in this pack are going to be an Aaron Judge Diamond Kings card. And a rated rookie of Alec Baum. So there we go. We pulled some nice rated rookies out of this. Uh, some of the, the uh, better cards, I would say, in the set for sure. Um, when it comes to that, as well as, you know, our unleashed parallel here of Juan Soto. I mean, I think that's just, that That for me is um, probably hands down the best card in the set for sure. Or in, the, um, in this blaster for sure. So let's get that down here. Uh, we did pull Lucas Giolito interleague no hitter uh the only bad thing i think about these rapture cards is that none of them are are numbered um you can see we can flip this over really quick uh, i believe if any of them were numbered uh like any of the base cards of these that are numbered it's usually right up here i think in the upper right hand corner um at least on the images that i've seen online of them but uh still some nice little rapture parallels there um a number of Purple Hollow cards, I'll just scroll through these really quick. Some with some variation, uh, some with the Diamond Kings. I believe we also pulled one Rated Rookie um, uh, Hollow Parallel. So we did, there it is, Dalton Varsho, uh, the Wade Boggs and the Dansby Swanson, as well as that um, Jordan Alvarez is the, uh, the H-Town variation. So let me do that just so we can see it a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to run through the little Diamond Kings and the um, 87 Retro cards because we saw all those when we went through it. But really quick, uh, Alec Baum, Nick Madrigal, Dylan Carson, 
Kubert Ruiz, uh, Bobby Dalback, which is a great find. Joe Adele, another great find. And then a, uh, a Brady Singer. So um, some nice rated rookies for sure. I'm super excited about those. And we'll just get those kind of, oops, right down there without, hopefully without trying to screw up anything on them too much. So there you go. There you have it. There's our 2021 Don Russ Blaster. Thank you for watching. Again, as I mentioned earlier, uh, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button and the little bell notifications uh, to turn on to turn on notifications if you want to know whenever I post content. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, any help that you can give, any comments that you have, definitely feel free to leave those. Let me know if there's things you'd like to see, things you feel like I should do differently or things I should maybe try to do that I haven't really tried yet. Thanks a lot again. Have a great day. Uh, enjoy collecting.